to my heart. It is why women are worse than men, in one sense only, and that is in the restroom. Um, it's something that I kind of complain about to a lot of my kids. Hate sitting in other women's pee. So, <laughs> tonight I'll be talking about the crisis of filth, how it happens, why it happens, and the essential next steps for moving forward into a culture of cleanliness. Um, that's actually a sign I have in my own restroom. I feel so strongly about it. Um, but we all know that special someone who always says, I never sit on a toilet seat. But here's the reason why I'm talking to you today. This is my grandmother. Um, I assisted her for many years. She was severely handicapped. Um, she had osteoporosis, which she developed after menopause, and she was her back was kind of like at a 90 degree angle. So um, she didn't have any other option but to sit. And I, with her little helper, that would go into the stall beforehand and clean it up. So I cleaned a lot of toilets in my life. I've never been compensated for it, but I have seen her pee. <laughs> Um, I feel this is a unique kind of treachery because it's women doing it to ourselves. I mean, for men, like 90% of the time, they're not going to be sitting in a public restroom. They kind of prefer to hold it and they have the ability to hold it. But for women, we got to sit. And a lot of times, this is what we find. Um, urine on the seat, um, used paper on the floor, and, um, but sometimes it's clean and that's really awesome and I really appreciate those lovely people who keep it. Keep it real. <laughs> um, the ladies room, there's kind of this unique culture in the ladies room. There's like chatting, there's baby time, there's you know gossip. If it's at the prom, there's a bunch of girls crying in there. <laughs> so lots of stuff happens in there. One of the things that happens is that we all usually are using it. And so this is kind of my routine, um, except for number three. We enter, we look for the clean stall, and usually for me it's like you open the door, you're like, no, no. And then you finally find a clean one, but you usually have to clean it up a little bit. Um, one thing I feel really strongly about is that when we leave the door to our home, that we don't extend the courtesy that we have for our other household members as far as bathrooms are concerned. So I really think that we need to kind of look at public versus private spaces. So you should treat it like you're going to a friend's house. And if you're not gonna do that, have a plan B which is coming in a lot of different forms, either cleaning up after yourself or having an assistive device. I'd like to tell you about <laughs> the worst uh, bathroom that I've ever cleaned. It was, um, there was people on the seat, you on the seat. And then I looked up, and then there was a dirty baby's diaper in the rafters. And I thought, wow, she's got good aim. <laughs> Why does she do that? And all I could think was she really must hate in general. <laughs> but I like to tell you two different types of restrooms we have. Um, one of my favorite bars to go to is Sidebar, and they have a super clean restroom, and it looks really cool. The other one is Walmart, and it's... Oh, jeez, the other we are. <laughs> Could you um, have that Sidebar mentality? Walmart mentality when you are going to the restroom. Oh, and another thing to remember is that if you think toilet seats are dirty, <laughs> Shopping cart handles. That's all I gotta say. Okay, people are touching their face, the kids got the boogers. There's all kinds of gross stuff that ends up on there. And people rarely clean it. Uh, here's some of my experiences. Urine, blood splash, mess of blood, extra bit. And my favorite, TP confetti. I didn't know actually what that was until I read it. I'm like, that's what that is. <laughs> but um, I really, really, really feel that when we go to the bathroom, you know, we need to be thinking in a clean uh, mindset, but also that there are others out there who don't have the option to spray pee all over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so here's some options. And they're coming. <laughs> I've got a prop. This is what I like to call the pee mate. I told you guys I was gonna bust one out. <laughs> This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's paper. It's a paper penis, basically. But, um, yeah, it's not just for camping. So take a seat, ladies. And if you're not going to do that, please wipe up after yourself. Um, washing your hands, for the love of God, please wash your hands. There's nothing I hate more than hearing a parent who says, don't sit on the seat. But then you don't hear, remember to wash. So remember to wash, wipe up. Thank you guys so much.